Hey guys, I want to be straight with you. It's flat out cold this morning. I'm wearing a sweater. And it's chilly. Kind of bizarre. I love it though. Because personally, I love cold weather. Um, so I'm loving it. Because I hate the summer, especially in Japan because of the humidity, as I've talked about before. So this is fantastic. I wish it would just stay like this. Plus it's wicked cloudy, so there's no sun. It is even better because I hate the sun more than I hate summer. So, all things good. I'm glad you liked yesterday's video in the grocery store. I do what I can. So, um, I was chatting with the, with my neighbor in like this one. And there's a, there's a family that lives in this apartment. They are like really loud and inconsiderate and like all hours of the morning they're slamming doors and screaming and talking and getting drunk and stuff. And my neighbor told me that they like snore really loudly too. I had never noticed that before. But I have noticed that they have um, an alarm that goes off. I don't know what, what their philosophy on alarm clocks are. If it's like, set the alarm for 7 because I eventually have to get up at 8 and just let it ring for an hour until I get up. I don't know what, what they're... Oh, I thought that was someone cheering. I thought that was a voice. It's a alarm. Police. Wow. Um, oh, they're gonna come right back here. Maybe? Oh no, they turned the corner. Um, yeah, so they're, they're kind of inconsiderate neighbors and when I told them that my sexy neighbors moved out. She was like, oh, I wish it was the other ones, because sexy neighbors were really nice. They were good, nice people. Like, I, I talked to them before. They were cool, so. Um, yeah, we lost sexy neighbors, and we still have this terrible, noisy, obnoxious neighbor. <laughs> but, uh, and then I told her that there's going to be a new foreigner moving into the apartment complex, and she was like, Okay, <laughs> she's like, that doesn't mean anything to me, and I'm like, you're so cool, because you know most people would be like, oh my god, another foreigner, another friend for you. Oh, here comes salary man. I'm babbling anyway. <laughs> Gotta go by. So the weather was kind of junky. Hello, by the way. <laughs> the weather was kind of junky, so there was no swimming lessons today. Sad. <laughs> um, I wanted to say thank you guys for all of the fantastic entries to the contest. I got a total of 25 and um, there's so many different kinds, you know, they range from like really funny to really introspective to kind of like touching and personal. So it's really, really difficult to judge. Like I'm not just saying that, like it's legitimately <laughs> one of the more difficult things I'm gonna have to do. And um, I just wanted to say that I really appreciate it. I love all of them. I'm serious. I love all of them. And um, I am going to do a, a first, second, third prize. Um, <laughs> and uh, let's say Saturday. By Saturday, I'll announce the winners. Um, but I'll just know that I, I'm having a really difficult time trying to, trying to pick them. <laughs> um, so. For the second graders, I was teaching them numbers, and I, I like to play this game where I give them slips of paper, and then they do uh, rock, paper, scissors, and if you win, then you get to take the other person's slip of paper. But I think I, it didn't feel like high enough stakes, so I changed it. So it wasn't just a slip of paper, it, it's like a dollar bill. Not a real dollar bill, but just like a photocopy of it. And it's really, really funny because all of a sudden it got like so serious. Because even though it's just a photocopy of a dollar bill, it's like money. <laughs> and the kids were like, is it real money? And I'm like, no, it's not real money. Come on, don't be ridiculous. So, you know, I give them each three dollars as opposed to three strips of paper. And suddenly it was just like so much more dramatic if they lost one. So it was lots of fun. And like, they each got three strip, they each got three dollars, but I, I had like fifty dollars, so I was the bank. So if they ran out of money, they would have to yell, bank, 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 and come to me, and then I would give them more money. It was just, it was just kind of like, 
It's the exact same game, but it was substantially more fun because it was money. <laughs> um, and then, so I had this huge stack of dollar bills, like photocopies of them. And I got into a long conversation with a bunch of teachers in the teacher's room about, like, who's on which dollar bill and which coin, you know, like, the hundred is Franklin and the one is George Washington. And then, like, the coins, too, like, the penny is Lincoln. But he's also on the five dollar bill, why? And then I was like, well, who are these people on the, the yen? Are they, like, your emperors or, or what, what, what's going on? But they're, like... They were explaining to me who these people were, and they were like, authors, oh, and this guy is the president of a college, like, they were explaining to me who was on it, and I was like, why? That, that just seems so random, and they were like, hmm, yeah, it, it does seem random, doesn't it? And I was like, okay. And on the coins, there's like, flowers. So it's, it, it's just kind of, I, I don't know why those particular people are on their money, but it's, it's very interesting. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I had lunch with the first graders today, and that was really, really cute. Um, and then they were like, oh, will you play with us at recess? Will you play tag with us? And I'm like, oh, I hate tag. I hate tag. I hate it. It's just like, run around. <laughs> Why? There's no point. Like, if you're playing soccer, then it's like, the point of running is to play soccer. But if you're playing tag, then it's like, the point of running is just to keep running, and that's not fun. So, we played tag for like one minute, and I was like, I don't want to play anymore. So they were like, let's play on the seesaw! So then we like started playing on all the structures and stuff. And the kids were just being really cute, and they were like, give me a piggyback ride, now hug me! Which is, it's funny, because like, I've never really had that kind of, like, physical relationship with the kids. Physical relationship sounds kind of dirty, but like... <laughs> Touching, touching also sounds dirty. It's not dirty. It's not a dirty relationship with first graders. But um, I've never like picked them up before or held hands or did anything like that. I don't know, maybe I just had this air of don't touch me because in general I don't like to be touched. But like they were just being so cute that I was like, okay, fine, we'll, we'll do piggybacks today, whatever. <laughs> But they, they were really cute, and I was, like, laughing my head off. They're just precious. And so in two weeks is my demonstration lesson, and the fifth grade, not the fifth, the sixth grade teacher is going kind of nuts about it. She's, like, really, really high stress um, in class, like, because she really wants to get to the, the certain lesson. And I'm trying to do my lesson, and she'll be like, oh, Mason, say, hang on, can we do this this thing now? And I'm like, oh. All right, I was in the middle of a lesson, but we can do that. Because I, I want I want to calm her down, because I'm totally cool with the demonstration lesson that's coming up, and she's really stressed out about it. So I want to help calm her down by just, you know, whatever. <laughs> Let's do what we have to do, and then after the fact, it can go back to being normal. And uh, it's, it's just, <laughs> it's getting really difficult. <laughs> She's actually not going to be there next week, though. So next week, she won't be there. And then the week after that is the demonstration lessons. <laughs> so maybe, that, maybe that'll maybe that cause her even more stress. I don't know. But <clears throat> it'll be good for me because she won't be stressing me out with all of her stress. <laughs> um, so that's all. Tomorrow is another elementary school day, and then which is also Friday. So it's the weekend, I think. I think. There's something going on this weekend, like with tea ceremonies and stuff, like in kimonos. I'm, I'm not exactly positive. I have it written down somewhere that I have to check out, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna check that out. <laughs> and I'll let you guys know tomorrow about that, and if, I, if there is some kind of kimono tea ceremony thing, I'll try to get some footage of it, because uh, that's obviously very interesting. So I will see you tomorrow. Bye!